this is a continuation on from a previous video where we went over how you can actually show actual results to budgeted results. Now the big thing there was that budgets are usually at a different granularity to actuals. So actuals might be every single day, uh, you're making numerous transactions every day or you're doing uh, numerous things at a transactional level every day, but your budgets might be at a yearly level. Uh, and they could be made up of you know what you uh, produced last year plus five percent something like that and so what we did was we worked out some logic around how you can uh, cr uh, divide up or allocate that budget over a different different time frames and so if we just uh, just do a quick recap of what we did there um, we started off with our total sales and then we had our total budgets but our budgets were the entire budgets to uh, added up together so the 62 uh, 62 million is, is actually the total of, of all budgets now the reason why it is like this is because the budget information has no relationship to the date table and that's where this date column comes from so when this date uh, places a filter on this table the budget result doesn't know what to do because there is no filter flowing down to that table so what we had to do is we had to create this allocation with DAX measures. And what we did was we worked out, well, how many days in the year there are. And in this case, uh, in 2016, there was 366. And then what we also needed to do is we obviously to create a ratio to create that allocation, we needed to go one divided by 366 times and times that by the total budget. And then that gives us our allocation. So then we had to work out, well, how many days in the current context and you'll see here that via this very simple formula, count rows dates, it's saying uh, it's it's giving us the it's giving us one. So all it's doing is that if this date uh, this date here filters the date table, and then what this measure does is it counts up how many rows in the date table. Well, there's only one because each individual day is only one row. Uh, and hopefully you can see how this would work. As say uh, we jumped two months, then this days and date context would actually change to how many days in the month, and that's how you always get the correct budget allocation depending on what uh, what date context you have in there. Okay, so enough of a recap. Now let's jump into how we then, so we get, that's how we get our budget allocation. So if I get rid of these intermediate results, how do we actually look at these things cumulatively? Because we can look at it from a daily perspective, but it looks it would look quite cool if we were able to track through time, or how did we actually go cumulatively? Now, we actually have the makings of this all set up for us, and all we need to do is use the cumulative total pattern, if you like, to actually then showcase this. So, what I'm going to do is create that um, create that pattern, but I'm first of all going to do it on the total, the total sales uh, the total sales measure. So what we've got to do is create a new measure and we'll call it cumulative cumulative sales and then I'm going to go calculate and then I'm going to put in my measure because it asks for an expression. I'm going to go total sales and then I'm going to go filter and I'm going to go all selected here all selected and then in my dates table and then all I've got to do is go date is less than less than or equal to max date. Just gonna find the date here. Okay, so now we've got the cumulative, we've got our cumulative pattern and I've put in total sales as uh, what to uh, what to calculate within that pattern. So if I just create another, I'm gonna create another visualization here. I'm just gonna change it around a little bit. So I'm gonna bring in my cumulative sales. And so now we are looking at the cumulative sales through time, right? And if you think about it, we've got this the cumulative pattern, we've got the budget allocation. So all we need to do to actually make, uh, to get up our cumulative budgets is copy and paste this pattern and go cumulative budgets instead. And then I'm gonna change this expression to our budget allocation. And then I can compare now those two things. It's pretty cool, right? Now, to make this uh, look even better, what I'm gonna make a, another, um, obviously, uh, because we've got a lot of information there, we, we can't really see that much of our di divergence. But what we probably want to see is we actually wanna see, well, what is the difference through time, right? I'm just gonna get rid of, uh, actually, I'll make this a bit smaller up the top here. 
So we might want to say, well, how how have we been tracking through time? What's the what's the uh, the, the the running total of us above or below budget? And so we've got these two numbers here. So all we've got to do is go diff and uh, diff actuals to budget. And I'm just going to go cumulative sales minus the cumulative budgets. And I can create another visualization here where I can turn it into a column chart and I'm going to write, bring my diff actuals to budgets in here. And so now we can see well, how we're actually performing um, you know, through time. So it looks like we started off okay and then we drifted off uh, towards the back end of the year. Uh, and it looks like it was pretty bad even all the way from March, right? But check out what we can do even with this. We can now grab the city. We can grab the city. And remember that what the key here is to grab the city name from the cities table. Because you've got to think about what is actually linked up here. We've got our budgeting information by city here. Uh, so we, when we filter on this table, it's going to flow down this relationship and hit that. But then we also have information in our sales data table. So we've got to be able to then flow it down this relationship and then go through this relationship down to the sales table. And so if I get, I can now drag this difference actuals to budget into uh, against our city's name. And now we can actually see well, who performed uh, best and worst via, uh, for each city uh, compared to budget. So I can change this into a visualization and then I might want to sort this. Uh, let's actually sort it the other way and see well, who, who actually performed well versus who didn't. It's so going to put in some data labels there. And then check this out. We can actually now, if I just uh, sort these a bit better, we can now actually then look at each individual city here and see how they perform to their budget. And all we've got to do is click through each different uh, into each different city. I'm just going to change the interactions very quickly here. And then we can see, okay, well, so obviously Hamilton in this case performed very poorly. And why was that? And it looks like they were okay until half year and then seriously dropped off. Obviously, that's going to, um, that's going to, that's some great insight, right? That you can go back and uh, talk to the, 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 um, you know, the, the regional managers, the area managers, the salespeople. You've got this information right then and there. And the same goes for uh, Kapiti Coast here. Let's actually go to some good, good performance and see what actually happened there. So it looks like at the back end of the year, uh, North Shore did well, so on and so forth. So hopefully you can see how um, you know, incredible insight that you're actually able to achieve there. There's a few steps to actually get to this point. We've gone through uh, quite a few of them. We've combined a lot of them. Um, but when you do combine a lot of them, you can see um, you know, the, the information you can generate is just, is just fantastic. Really, really, really cool. And there's even, you could take this even further. You can take this even further. So hopefully you found that enlightening and, and can find... Uh, uh, find somewhere in your own environments where this is actually applicable and you can use uh, a combination of these techniques.